Hi everyone, welcome back to another lesson where we're going to be learning about our lovely blog that we're creating in Laravel. And I've decided, um, let's just, this will be a little bit of a shorter video as we're going to be creating that LERD after we create a post or a tag or a category that we will be able to create an alert from the sessions variable. Right, and I want the alert to disappear basically after three seconds. And in order to do that, we're obviously going to use Alpine.js because when we use the Jetstream installation with Likewire, it comes with uh, Alpine.js. And it must be for the success or error uh, session variables. Okay, so let's get started. As you guys remember, we created uh, the components dot ui dot alerts dot blade dot php if you haven't created yet basically all you can do is you just just right click and you say new file and you just type in alerts dot blade dot php all right you don't need like your view controller you don't need to create a component like a class right here you don't need to do that you can just create the alerts just like this Right, so we have our div. Okay, so I'm not going to explain basically the Alpine JS stuff. Um, I'm just going to type it out and more or less explain what it what is happening. Okay, let's do it. Obviously, the first thing that we're going to add above here is basically if uh, if statement if the session. Okay, if the session has. A message of success all right then please do this and then we're just going to add an and if all right and what we can do you can add an else statement like this else if like this all right and this is basically a different condition right but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to create another one um you know what let me create the top one and i just copy it down so basically, now we have our opening and closing div tags right there. Now for Alpine, the notation is the x notation, x data. We're going to equal that to that equal to this, and then open set to true. Okay, just like this, like set to true. Okay, and the next part, remember, we're just moving the the closing because you're uh, less than and you're greater than. Now, the greater than, I'm just moving a little bit down because we need more space for us. Ourselves. And then we have X in it. Okay, this will basically set the timeout. Okay, so set uh, time, timeout. Okay, if I can spell correctly, please don't. Um, if my spelling is a bit off, please just ignore it. <laughs> and we set the open uh, basically to false. You see the open that we've got here. We basically want to set it to false here. Okay. And then when do we want that to happen? We want to set that to false after maybe three seconds. Okay. So basically what we have now is we've got our X in it. So this is basically to say that it will open be true. This will basically the timeout. Then we will set the open basically to false after three seconds. All right. And then I'm just going to go down. X.show equals the open. Okay. The next one uh, will be basically how will it get into the transition? Okay, so then we do X transition and we press enter. Okay, the enter and that equals to transition. This is basically Tailwind classes. Okay, transition duration. Uh, duration we want to be. Sorry about that. The duration we want to be 500. Basically, it's a half a second. And transform. And we want it to 
basically is out okay there's just the uh, the properties okay the next one is we want to do x transition from our start okay we want to equal that to opacity of if I can spell opacity of one okay so you've got basically your zero up to one and 0 0.5 is basically 50 percent 0 0.8 is basically 80 percent but one is like full opacity okay and the next one is basically transition leaf this is just all alpine js stuff which we're not basically discussing in this course but i'm just kind of more or less explaining things more or less please note um and then we're going to add a transition again on this one because as it enter and then when it start and when it leave it's also got its own duration okay and the duration on this will be 500 transform and that will be is in okay and then the next one is x transit i just hope all this works <laughs> The leave uh, end, okay, that equals, um, okay, to opacity of zero, okay. So basically, when it starts, it's zero, and when it leaves, it's start, it's full, and then it's nothing, okay. Right, and then we're obviously going to add some classes to our div, okay. So, what classes do we want to add, okay? We want to this is all basically the div that we're styling right now. Okay, so this is a class. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to do a flex and we give it a background color of a green color. So I'm going to choose 600. Okay, and then we're going to give it some padding to margin bottom of four. Text must be white. Okay, items. Uh, to an items of center okay so just to center the items and round it now i'm just styling right here oh wait no it formatted it's okay my text editor, editor obviously automatically formats it but i'm not going to save it yet that's why i actually continue typing because i don't want to save it because it formats it this is just so that you guys can easily see i will save it in a sec Right, so when I save it, then we can basically see what it looks like. All right, and I'm just obviously going to remove the timer so that we can just see what it. And the next thing we can either add font awesome, but I'm going to use a SVG in this case. Okay, so this is basically our end right there of our um, div head, basically our opening tag. Now in here, I'm we can add like a font awesome like an icon and stuff like that but i'm going to add an svg so let's go to euro icons and get an svg there okay so we type in euro icons and press enter right we here and what we want to do is we want to actually get um like a tick let's see if i can find one Right, we've got it here, a check mark. Uh, we've got a circle or this one. I'm going to choose this circle. So just copy the SVG like this. Just press copy. As you can see, it's copied. Then we go to VS Code and paste it in there. Like, boom. All right, so it's all pasted in. Now, the thing is, I would just want to add some couple of styling to it. So let's do that. Okay, so we're going to leave it. No, I'm just going to make it a width of five. We don't have to worry about the rest. Padding top of one and margin right of three. All right, we're going to see Nana what that does. Okay, so I saved it now so that it moves up, basically automatically styles it. All right, we've got our SVG. And the next thing I want to add underneath that is basically the span. Now, the span is basically just going to be. Um, the place where we the messes actually will appear in 
Okay, so I'm just going to do the success. All right, so this me the message will basically be between these span tags. All right, so I'm just going to comment the timeout part out for now. Okay, let me comment it out quickly, otherwise, we're not going to be able to see it. You know, let's make the timeout ridiculous, something like 60,000. 600 okay so we will it will take a long time before it actually goes then we change it back to 3000 to three seconds again okay so let's see how it looks like in the browser oh before we do that we actually need to add it in our html in our view actually let's go there to our index view all right so in our here is it, the resources views and dashboard category stored index let's go to the index we go on top all right let's create another div just just under your slot of your nav okay just create another div and inside that we're just going to add that x.ui.alerts okay so we got our alert in there but i just want to add this class to our div right here let me just like this you see this mx auto that we have just copy it and paste it in there okay just like that all right save it and let's see if it can view it in the browser okay so let's go and edit holidays quickly and we change it to just holidays like this and press it as you can see, we got our our um, alert right there, but I think I just need to add some margin to the top right there, so it just moves it a little bit down a bit, not so close to our header right there. So let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna just put here margin top of let's say not something too crazy. Let's do four. That's a bit crazy, but. Let's try. <laughs> right, let's go back and refresh it because it's obviously going to disappear. Now let's edit our holidays again. Put a couple of S's. As you can see, it's right there. Okay, so it says basically category successfully updated, and that is the message that we're actually getting back from the controller. If you remember, if let me show you where that comes from. So inside our controller, let me just go to category controller. All right inside here you get that message right here the, uh, let me just do it like this all right with the success this is basically the session variable and the category message like that message that we get right there and we can actually do an exclamation mark like this and let's see if it works let's go back to our browser let's refresh okay and edit this and remove this like this and update as you can see the exclamation mark is right there all right but we want this to disappear after three seconds not six hundred thousand so basically a minute okay so let's quickly change that in our code editor and where is it that alerts okay so we want it to disappear after three seconds all right so let's see if it's worked Okay, so we want it to disappear after three. Let's see if it works, okay? Let's go to browser, refresh it. One last time, edit it again, update, and hopefully disappear. Please disappear. Hey, and it works. <laughs> so it disappeared after three seconds. Very good stuff. Let's edit it again and actually just remove the S's. Right, let's do that. Just keep holidays. Updated category successfully updated. Boom, it disappears. The magic of Alpine JS, people. The magic. All right. The next thing, obviously, we're going to do the tags. I said I'm going to do this today, but I thought actually it's going to be the next lesson. I will also upload it today, so it will be uploaded very shortly. And the next thing, I just wanted to make sure that we can just do that as well. Basically, you see the subcategories. We can actually add another tag right there called subcategories so that you can be able to edit and delete these as well. 
But for now, I'm not going to do that. I'm probably going to leave that as homework to you guys. <laughs> All right. So, yes. Thank you guys for watching. So we've done that, but we're not finished yet. Let me actually do the error one as well. Okay. Just, just for the sake of learning. Okay. So let's go back to our Visual Studio Code. And inside our list, as you remember, we've got the session of success. We can just copy it down. So since we're all learning and we can just do an error, just do error right there and just change the message from that success to error. Okay. And just change the background to maybe red. Uh, that's very red. Okay. It's like something. Yeah. Something like that. And obviously change the SVG to, let's see what we can change it to. You guys can obviously be as creative as you want to be. I'm just going to use the exclamation circle. Okay, let me just copy that. Right, that one. Let's just copy the exclamation circle right there. And paste it right here. Okay, so if we paste it in there. Right, so we got it done. But I just want to copy the same properties that we have in here. In here. Okay, just like that. Okay, so basically how this one works is basically if there's a session variable called error and it basically will pull this one right here okay so let's quickly just test it out so instead of the success when we update i just want to do an error just like this okay so let's see if it works save it go back to our browser one last time close that edit this one and too many S's, obviously. Okay, it's supposed to give us the error one right now. Okay, as you can see, it gives us the red one. Okay, easy peasy. So you can obviously uh, throw an exception if something goes wrong with the message of error, and all that kind of stuff. All right, thank you guys for watching. And uh, before I do that, let me just go back. Otherwise, I forgot will forget let me just change it to success okay so i'll be let me quickly upload it to get up for you guys so let's clear this okay so i'll update it to get up all right so let's do a get status okay get add okay all good stuff okay so it's adding get commit this M, I would just say uh, lesson. Let me just do this lesson uh, at lesson seven. Okay, add alert component and yeah, lesson seven. Okay, I think that's good as a message. Okay, I think you guys will get it. Okay. All right, and then let me get push. Let me push it to the repo. Okay, so all good. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for making it this far, and thank you for. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you don't like this video, give it a dislike. And if you, yes, if you have some positive or negative feedback. Please give it in the comment section. I sometimes misspell things. If you notice that, please add it in the comment section. Um, actually, I don't mind at all. All right. So it will be in our, your, the GitHub repo. I will obviously put the link in the description. And you just basically can go there and just do whatever you want. You can. Then you can clone it and just work from there. All right. Um, I will be uploading the tag one soon. The, when we create the tag controller, the route, and obviously the views for it, and then all Gucci. Thank you guys, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.